From the scariest nightmare to the most epic action figure horror unboxing of all time. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, that's what we're going to cover. We're going to cover Chucky, Pennywise, Michael Myers, Leatherface, Killer Clowns, and all the brand new figures that NECA has delivered this year. Let's check it out and check out all the spooky! Hey, it's Horror Hero Figs. We're going to be taking a look at this huge box loaded with horror figures that are just going to fulfill that October need, right? You want to get spooked out. You want scary. You want death. Zombies. This box right here, matter of fact, starting from the top, it's got it all, you guys. So if you guys do want to go through the entire box, drop a like and also go in the comments right now. I want to know who is your favorite horror character of all time. Is it Chucky? Is it Michael Myers? Is it Jason? How about Pennywise? Or how about the man that brought the nightmare into fruition? Look at this man. I don't know what the hell this guy is doing, but I'll tell you what, he's going to sign me up for any nightmare that he wants to partake in it, bro. This is insanity. <laughs> oh my gosh. Obviously, it's a custom. I mean, I believe it was the Witcher that had uh, introduced this whole like bottom piece. But as far as like you guys like knowing anything past the actual nightmare, you guys damn well know that Freddy Krueger. Yeah, he had to replicate it. Actually, I clearly remember this in a movie, right? The man had morphed into all types of different lads. And then he's like, yeah, we got a massive spider coming at you. This thing is insane. Ha <laughs> ha. Full articulation points on all four corners. Actually, six corners. We got one, two, three. We got four on each side. So we're marking that as the number eight to cling your ass straight into that seat. Because we got so many figures, man. I'm telling you. The Killer Clowns, they've been making their presence over here with NECA. Now, these three, I feel like these three probably brought the best look as far as what we've seen so far in figure history. I mean, we've never truly gotten something detailed. So having all three lads, dude, this is a knockout. Watch this. Knockout number one, knockout number two, and knockout number three because the man brought the popcorn, right? You can't have a horror action figure unboxing if you don't bring your damn popcorn. Check this out. This guy's got, what does he got? Kettle corn. He's got honey corn. He's got cream corn. He's got all that damn corn that he's going to fill you up with. And he's going to be like, yeah, buddy, keep on eating because you're going to love it. You're going to love all of this. Plus, check this out, bro. I feel like this figure right here has got to be top contender for horror figures of the year. We've gotten so many, right? But as far as like the Ninja Turtles bringing their own touch to it, I feel like this was brought in a way that nobody has ever brought it. That whole cross factor, this is the right way to do it, man. You can't just bring up horror and convert a lad and say, yo, what's going on? What happened to my mask? Why are we doing horror figure unboxings in the month of September when it should be October? Well, that's the good thing, man. You guys need to turn on that notification bell because we're not messing around. We got all these guys covered. Check this out, too. I really like the gauntlet. He brought two different options. So, obviously, as you guys know, Casey Jones, he likes to play hockey. He likes to nail someone. He's going to strike you this go-around, though, with full-on spikes. These are actually pretty sharp. Now, on the right side, we got a full-on brown claw right there that's going to mix it in with the interchanging options that you're going to get with this figure. Look at this, you guys. Front end, solid. Back end, solid. Cloth goods on the regular. And I cannot tell you how happy I am that out of all the horror characters that NECA decided to go with, I feel like Casey Jones, this was the right look. Now let's bring Leatherface into the frame, you guys, because here's the cool thing about Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Even though it's based off the title from Texas, it actually is based off Wisconsin. That's right. If you guys are a local boy, you ought to be doing your history because the man from the deep south, actually it's not deep south, bro, it's the damn cornfield, it's the Midwest, and you know what? Where the hell is this man's chainsaw? Like, how are you going to have Leatherface and no freaking chainsaw? We got to look for it. I can guarantee you that it's at the bottom of the box because thriller, thriller, night. it's not thriller, but... If you guys were trying to bring Michael Jackson into this figure unboxing, it's not going to happen. This is straight horror, and the only thing we're doing is spooky. This right here is actually based off Ghostbusters, which, at the end of the day, I know some people may not consider horror, but I can guarantee you that if this lady ended up showing at your front doorstep, you'd be like, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> All right. 
Ghostface, one of the true OGs in horror. And NECA actually brought a different look right here on this go around. Now, this actually does come with, I believe, interchanging different colored skins. You get like green, you can get like all kinds, bro. You get that on the dial, and you can get this man right here. Guaranteed to have a good summer. And if you didn't, guess what? I know exactly what the hell you did last summer. And what was that? Jagging off on your balls. Yeah! <laughs> Let's keep going because Pennywise. Oh, hold on. Let's slow the roll right here because for the first time in Pennywise figure history, not only do we have Pennywise himself, but we got Freddy Krueger's baby, bro. He's like, yo, Freddy, I got your damn baby. When are you going to pick him up? I've been babysitting for the last seven days. You haven't brought me lunch. Matter of fact, your ass hasn't even paid me. So he's got to go talk to Freddy Krueger because then he's going to find out if Chucka here is the man in your scariest place that you ever thought. He's like, yo, did you guys know back in the day when they were building pyramids, they were actually doing the same damn thing that I'm doing. Let's get a body. Let's get that transported. And that's what he did, bro. I feel like from the beginning start, since this man was chased down to that damn toy store and he started transferring his soul, that's all he did, bro. Every single damn movie, he's like, I need a body. I need a body. Every damn movie, he still ended up in the same damn body. <laughs> now, if you guys are familiar, this one is actually based off well, the NECA lineup, except on this one. This one was kind of like the upgrade. Now, I know some of you may have seen it on the channel where it's like solid plastic. But all this, buddy, this is all soft goods that we forgot to bring right here. Oh, my gosh. We got a decapitated Freddy Krueger. Now, this is what happens, you guys, right? When you go into your own nightmare. You don't want to do it. This man had his gone, and then we got no answer why the hell Chucky's bride is gone. It's like, yo, Chucky, where you at, bitch? Like, I don't know. I thought you were supposed to be looking for me. Oh, say, do you want to be my Halloween surprise trick-or-treater? What the hell are you talking about, man? Well, it's plain and simple. You tell me what you want, you say trick-or-treat, and then next thing you know, slash, slash, because that's how it happens, bro. You can't be messing around with Freddy Krueger and think you're going to walk away away scot-free no matter of fact ain't nobody walking away scot-free if we got another pandemic look at this we got rona 2.0 this man over here he's on the full lineup he's like yo we need that checkup time for your check matter of fact i believe this go around though i don't believe he got the checkup that he was looking for because i'm gonna tell you what michael myers Ooh, we got a little fix ski up ski we got a fix ski up ski for those that were wondering if that's actually a thing in the neck line, I bet definitely is. That's one thing I love about these figures, you guys, is that a lot of them, you can interchange parts. You can mix them around. You can do a little mixy mashy. And he's like, bro, what the crap happened to your finger? Well, if you would have been there for me, you would have known that I was in trouble, that I needed your help. He's like, we're the same guy. Oh, snap. <laughs> right? We got Michael Myers on the double. But except we got swapsies and we got interchanging things that just needed to occur. Now, as you guys know right here, there's an asylum right around the corner, right? Matter of fact, I've actually been there. I've actually partook in my own right in that asylum. Only thing is, is that when I ended up coming out, I ended up looking up straight like that demon, bro. Look at this. We got Finn Balor and iconically one of the best demon gears hero fix what the hell are you talking about we've never seen this before well if you followed the lad long prior before wwe you would know that leatherface actually can assist him check this out so this man he's like yo i didn't bring my chainsaw he's like you got a chainsaw i got a chainsaw i don't know if this is actually gonna work though i feel like the one that was based off the earlier NECA figures it's a little underscale like proportion wise I mean, sure, you can mix around with the camera. He's like, rawr, 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 rawr. Ah! Ah! we got a shark. We got a shark. We got a shark creeping up right here, right out of the box. Look at this. This guy, he's going to eat Freddy Krueger, but we ain't going to let him. You know why? Because Jaws, he couldn't do it. He's like, yo, you seen the rest of my body? No, why? Because I took it from your ass. You were sleeping. I was in your nightmare. And then this right here. Now, if you guys don't know, there was an actual game. And guess what did they do? They did this. We got one of the greatest NECA figures. We got one of the greatest Michael Meyer figures that ever landed in that biggie shop. Now, check this out. We got some strange things going on. I can guarantee you that if there was a dog inside the house, there'd be nobody letting him out. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, if he's looking like this, the only dog you're going to let out is the vegan me like, Chihuahuita. He's like, yo, anybody seen my dog? He's like, no, why? Because you're the demo dog. You're supposed to be taking care of after your own damn dog. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe. Now, this right here, McFarlane, they've been doing some great stuff with Stranger Things. And I think that the demo dog, yeah, the only thing we need, bro, is that demo bat. We've been sleeping on that. We actually, I've never been able to find that one. So if you guys have found that, hit me up. We got a link in the description. You can talk to the horror hero fix and let him know that Karen, she's not kind of, yeah, she, she ain't partaking in this year's Halloween. She's like, nope, not doing it. Last year was too damn scary. Matter of fact, I ain't giving nobody no damn candy. And this is what happens. When you turn into Karen 2023 3.0. <laughs> Right out of her ass, shooting all that nasty shit that ain't nobody trying to get their hands off. Oh, look at this, bro. I'm telling you, Leatherface has got to be one of the most pronounced figures in this unboxing. Like, this guy's on the left, he's on the right, he's on them pops, and he's on that. Some more nightmares. He's like, you got some more nightmares? What else we got? Oh, oh, oh hold on. We got the nightmare that wanted to actually happen. He's like, yo, or what are you doing on Friday? And he's like, I don't know, bro. I was actually thinking about doing some nightmares. You want to hang out? He's like, man, last time I hung out with your ass, you left me stranded. I was looking all over the damn place. And then when I found your ass, you were rocking down bitches right out of Nightmare from Elm Street. Dad, that's what happened, bro. That's why they don't hang out anymore. If you guys ever wondered why Pennywise and, oh, uh, well, I almost called him Leatherface. <laughs> If, uh, oh my gosh, Chucky, what the hell, where are you? He's like, I'm over here. We got Friday the 13th. We got, oh, here's the thing, you guys. At the end of the day, when you got all these damn names to remember, you guys know that Freddy Krueger, he doesn't want to be remembered at times. He's like, nope, not doing it. Matter of fact, the only way that I am doing it is that if you bring that most simple ass plain face that we've seen out of all those different head scans from this. I feel like this has got to be hands down, right? He's got his jaw open on some of them. He's got his face literally scattered throughout this one he just has a damn balloon he's like all right bro i got a balloon for you he's like why because instead of you having the right weapon you got a damn hammer <laughs> Look at this. this is what happens when you've gone through the entire tool shed i mean at the end of the day you're gonna end up with a damn hammer and then you're gonna end up with stubby this is stubby and if you don't know stubby i'm saying stubby <laughs> But if it was, this is what happens when you tell your wife that you, she hasn't been cooking right. She's like, nope, you're making them brownies too burnt. You're making them tortillas too flat. And then next thing you know, she grabs that damn spatula. And she's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God, he's eating me. He's eating me because right here, the most epic. And when I say epic, you guys, this right here has got to be an understatement. There has never been a scarier lad in history. Then Frankenstein himself. Oh, I'm coming to jack off on your balls. <laughs> Look at this. Now, I don't believe this one. I actually, this is the one based off NECA. I do believe they actually introduced a different colored tone one, which I got to get my hands on. If you guys don't know, he's like, one stinky, dinky, dinky. Ho, ho, ho. Now, I got a question for you guys. Why did Vampire cross the road? Was it A? To get to the chicken on the other side. Was it B? To suck the blood of the innocent? Or was it C? To look for his damn shoe. <laughs> what the hell happened to... Oh, you know what? We gotta look for it. I feel like it's gotta be at the bottom. Oh, we got a biggie. We got a biggie. We got a big, 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 big biggie. Look at this, you guys. Like, if you guys ever wondered what big means, I feel like alien. I feel like Queen Alien has brought it right here at its finest. He's like, I see what you're doing. You're going to showcase me as one of the greatest aliens of all time. But I don't know if we can do that, you guys. Like, I know she's the queen and all. And technically, we're supposed to bring her the food and whatnot. But at the end of the day, I feel like there's a come up, right? Check this out. We got one. We got two. We got three different versions right there of aliens like no 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 you know what i'm done dealing with that bitch the only thing she ever did for me was leave me scraps had me hunting and at the end of the day i got none so what are we doing it's like come on bro me and you we're gonna go hunting together and then we'll be like no we can't we gotta take care of the queen bro what the hell is wrong with you if you ain't getting down to the bottom of the box this is what happens when you get down to the bottom of the swamp though right you go looking for it. it's like all right I heard that there was a swamp monster. Am I going to go in there? 
He's like, you better not, dude. If you go in there, you might get straight sucked back, stuck into the box. No, because we can't. Because we need to get down to the bottom of the box. In the bottom of the box, ooh, the most beautiful woman of all time. We got Alvira. We got Jason. You can't have a figgy on boxing if you ain't got no damn Jason in hand. So, fact that we got him now, we can celebrate not only with Pennywise, but check this out. The last figure from the box. No, we got a few more, actually. We got a couple more. Oh, we got a, oh, we got a whole bunch of them. All right. We got Van Helsing jagging off on the regular, and we got Pennywise wondering why the crap he wasn't invited. I'm going to tell you why. We had this guy right here. Where the hell is this guy from? I feel like this guy was checked in into the wrong figgy box. I mean, he is pretty damn scary. I cannot tell you that Gears of War 2 didn't bring some scare tactics into play, but it wasn't quite as scary as those zombies trying to eat all them brides, brides, brides. Oh my gosh, you guys. We made it to the bottom of the box. What do we get? We got a damn hat. We got Freddy Krueger's hat. Why? Because he was looking for it. And then we got all these figures from the... Oh my gosh, you guys. I feel like horror has never been transparent quite like this video today. Look at this, you guys. The horror figgies on top of horror figgies. And we got even more coming. So turn on that notification bell. Also, let me know in the comments. Who is the scariest lad of all time? Is it Van Helsing? Nope, obviously not, because the man's hunting for monsters. Is it B? We got Frankenstein? Nope. Is it Pennywise? You guys got to let me know in the comments, bro. Also, let me know. What the hell are you guys dressing up for Halloween? I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Hit the subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Drop a like if you enjoy horror. And also, come back for some more. Turn on that notification bell. We'll see you all, you spooky lads. On the next one. Yo, let me get some of them damn kids. Yeah.